Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on completing a frequency table from a histogram. Now in the previous video where we drew a histogram we saw that histograms are great for showing the concentration of values. So we've got Lilo collects the length of 85 animals and represents the date on a histogram. What this is saying is that the lengths of animals are most concentrated between 65 and 75 centimetres. So it's almost like a bar chart, but where it's fair, because even though we have different intervals, it's taking into account those widths of different intervals, and we saw that in the previous video. Now we saw that frequency density was this idea of concentration, how many animals we had per centimetre. And we had this formula, didn't we? So we had frequency density is equal to the frequency divided by the class width. Now the frequency we don't know here, but the class width is basically the width of the interval. So 60 to 65, that's a width of 5 centimetres between 60 and 65. How wide is the interval? Now if we rearrange this formula, we could say that the frequency is equal to the frequency density multiplied by the class width. So I've just rearranged that division to make it a multiplication. Now if you think about it, frequency density, well that's the y-axis, that's the height of the bar, and the class width, that's the width of the bar, because that's how wide the interval is, how wide the length interval is. Now, if we do the height times the width of a particular rectangle, well, we know that gives you the area of the rectangle. So basically, the key point in this video is that the area of the bar in the histogram is equal to the frequency that's represented by that bar. So that's the one key thing in this video. So let's look at this first bar. That's 60 to 65. You can see 60 to 65 here. That's a width of 5. And the height of the bar is 1. That's 1 on the y-axis. So we do 5 times 1. So if I do that, 5 times 1 is equal to a frequency of 5. The area of this bar is 5. And therefore, the area of the bar is 5, the frequency represented by the bar is 5. What about the next one? 65 to 75, that's a width of 10. So the width of this bar is 10. The height of the bar, you can see if you read it off, is 3. So we do 10 times 3, which means we got 30 animals. What about the next one? 75 to 90, that's a width of 15. So the width of that bar is 15. The width of the bar is 15. The height of the bar, we can see, is 2. The area of the bar is 15 times 2, which is equal to 30 again. 90 to 100, that's a width of 10. The height of the bar, we can see that's 0 0.5. 10 times 0 0.5 is equal to 5. And then 100 to 120, that's a width of 20. A height, we can see that's 0.75, because look, that half bar there is 0 0.5, which means halfway between 0 0.5 and 1, which is here, is 0 0.75. So it's 20 times 0 0.75 and that is 15. And let's just add these frequencies up to just check that we do indeed get 85. So 5 plus 30 plus 30 plus 5 plus 15 is 85, so that's right. And that is it.